This sketch is comprised of four rectangles and a parallelogram, all drawn using the Rectangle tool in SolidWorks. I'll recreate the sketch profile in the same sketch by editing the sketch and activating one of the Rectangle tools. The Rectangle tools can be found in the Sketch tab of the Command Manager. Under the Tools drop-down menu, under Sketch Entities, by right-clicking in the Graphics area and selecting it from the menu, or by pressing the S key to access the Shortcut menu. In this menu, I'll select the first rectangle type, the Corner Rectangle. The Property Manager updates and the Corner Rectangle option is chosen under the Rectangle Type box. The icon for this rectangle has the numbers 1 and 2 shown in opposite corners of the rectangle, which signifies how you place the endpoints and in which order they should be clicked. So for this rectangle, I can click the beginning point in any corner, and then the other endpoint will end diagonally from the first endpoint. I'll use the corner rectangle to create this rectangle in the lower right corner of the original sketch. To begin, I'll make sure to bring up an inference line from the bottom of the original rectangle by hovering over the line and moving my cursor to the right, and then clicking to begin creating my rectangle. As I move the cursor up and to the left, I can enable another inference line that coincides with the top edge of the original rectangle, and I'll click to set the endpoint and finish the corner rectangle. The next rectangle I would like to sketch is a center rectangle. The icon for this rectangle displays that it's created by first clicking the center point of the rectangle, and then clicking to set the position of one of the corners. I'll use this tool to create the rectangle on the bottom left of the original sketch. I'll do this by moving my cursor over the midpoint of the left line of the rectangle I previously drew, pulling an inference line to the left, clicking to set the center of the rectangle, and placing the corner along the bottom edge of the other rectangle. Notice that this rectangle automatically inserts diagonal construction lines, which allows the user to quickly identify and select the center point if needed. The third rectangle type is the three-point corner rectangle. This rectangle is created by setting two corners along the same edge, and then determining the height of the rectangle by setting the third corner. I'll use this rectangle type to create the rectangle on the middle right of the original sketch. I'll start the sketch on the top right corner of the first rectangle I drew, set the next endpoint at the midpoint along the same edge, and then set the third endpoint at the height that an inference line appears collinear with the other rectangle. The next rectangle type is the three-point center rectangle. This rectangle is created by setting the center point first, then setting the distance to the midpoint of an edge, and then setting the distance from that midpoint up to a corner. I'll use this rectangle type to create the rectangle on the middle left of the original sketch. I'll start the rectangle by activating inference lines from the midpoint of the last rectangle and the common edge of the rectangles underneath setting the next point at the midpoint of the previous rectangle, and then setting the corner at the bottom left corner of the same rectangle. The final rectangle type is the parallelogram, which is created the same way as a three-point corner rectangle, with the third endpoint shifted to the left or the right of the second endpoint. I'll recreate the parallelogram of the original sketch by clicking the top right corner along an inference line from the parallelogram setting the second corner along the right edge of the sketch, and clicking the third corner where the two middle rectangles coincide. If I wanted to make these two profiles identical, I could use the Smart Dimension tool found in the Sketch tab of the Command Manager to set dimensions for both profiles. However, Smart Dimensioning is covered in another lesson.